So the next feature I want to introduce you to is the addition of a few brand new, very, very useful shader modules over here in the shader stack. So I'm going to come over to my comp shader, click add new shader module at the bottom in here, and come over and we have diffuse brightness contrast and diffuse HSV. Now if I was to bring either of these in, so let's choose the HSV in this case, I'm going to click OK. It'll sit over here in our shader stack and it's going to allow us to adjust the diffuse component only of our shader from this point downwards. Now of course this is extremely useful, however what might be more precise is using this with a mask channel. So I'm going to get rid of my diffuse HSV module and say goodbye to our green ogre. I'm going to hit the I key on my keyboard and inside of here I'm going to quickly switch back to my default shader and show you guys the eyes mask channel that I've created. Now you can see that the geometry of the eyes is pure white in here, but every single other thing is black. So we want to adjust only the eyes within our shader. So with eyes still held down, I'm going to come back and go to my comp shader and then release the eye key. So I'm going to come over to my shader stack, add new shader module. I'm going to zoom down to the middle of the list. And in here, of course, we now have the masked versions of both the brightness and contrast and the HSV tool. So in this case, I want to increase the brightness of the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to bring in the Masked Diffuse Brightness Contrast tool and click OK. That's again going to sit over here in our shader stack. And I'm going to make sure that I turn the mask texture from current channel down here into eyes mask. And with that done, whenever we adjust these values, it's only going to adjust what was the white section of our mask. So two very, very useful brand new additions to our shader modules.